Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create any of the nature terrains by using the terrain generator plugins in iClones to create any of the terrains in just one minute. It is something like this. Once you generate and create a terrain just in one minute, you can just send it to your Unreal Engine to make it become, become the ter terrain in your game. And it is really easy with, with collision setting. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. In your Icon 7, start from now, I just create a new project, start from new and fresh. Everything will start from beginning. And you can just go to the video description. Alright, get the iClone 7 first and also get the terrain generator and also iClone Unreal Live Link. If you don't know how to set up all of this, the iClone to Unreal Engine Live Link, you can just go and watch this tutorial to make sure you have the iClone Unreal Live Link and terrain generator in your iClones. It is just really easy. Alright, so now I start the terrain generator here. First, I will just select 3 times 3. It can be 3 times 2, it can be 4 times 3, it is up to you. And as demo, I will just use the low resolution mesh and the texture resolution, I, I will use 2K. And here I just choose one that I want to use it to create the terrain. Here you have so many choices here. For example, if I want this, I just click generate terrain and wait for a while. It will automatically generate for you before we really go and edit the terrain. Here. Alright, now you can see it is ready. And this is a dummy where you, you can just use this as an indicator where is the back, where is the right, where is the left. Now you have 3 times 3, that means you have 1, 2, 3. 3 times 3, 1, 2, 3. So all these terrains, you can go and click Edit. Let's say if I select this one, so now I can click, for example, at the center, you want to make it up, you want to make it down, it is up to you. For example, this one, I make it down here. For this part, the center, I make it up. For this part, for this part, I double click and select, I press Q and select, and double click, I can select it. Let's say if I want to select the right hand side, so I choose the right, click the right and then make it up. It will up in general like this. Let's say if I just purposely to select this part, I can choose the topology as well. The topology, you can just adjust it. To, to the appearance that you want. You have so many topology options here. For example, for this part, you make it rough, and this part, you double click and select, you use the topology 2. Or you use the topology 1, it is up to you. And let's say this part, you also want to make it up, uh, generate here, sorry. It's the morph control you want to increase. Okay, this part, for example, where is the direction? You always refer to this. The right is somewhere here, right hand side. So the right hand side, I want to lift it up. I can just the corner, right corner, these parts all will be lift up together. Let's have a look. See, it all lift up together. Now I already generated a terrain here. Let's say this part, I want the center to be a hole, just like that. Okay, now, assume that i done already. Let's say if I want to have another layer of the terrain, it is okay. So now, you look at the scenes. The group is the one that led you to move. So before we send to Unreal Engine 4, I'm going to generate one more. Go and generate a new group, also 3 times 3, the 2K. Now I want to create a rock hill, a rock layer. I can just scroll down to find some rock. 
For example, I want this, or the rock layer is this one. So I click generate terrain. It is going to, to generate another, another group here. So this one, I just need to drag the group, and I'm going to create some rock hill. OK, let's say this part, I just edit the topology to make it have some roughness. And also, the morph control, I want to lift this part up, just like that. So I just want this rock hill to be placed at here. So I just need to press Q and double click this, this group, and press W to move it to there. All right, so I just move it here, put it down like this. So now, I already created a rock hill, actually, and this is double layer there. What, what can I do is, if you want to make it up, also can't. See, make it up, then it will be more, more variations. It is up to you to adjust. So for this time, I will just put it like this to have some rock layer here. Next, I want to merge everything here to become just one. So actually, the group, this is the dummy. Now I can close this. The group dummy, I'm going to change the opacity to become zero because I don't want to see the dummy here. The group, the opacity, make it zero. Next. I'm going to create one more dummy here. I just create a surface, a plane. Now this plane, I just need to press R to make it really small, and press W to move it to the bottom. And this dummy, I don't want to see it, so just put at the bottom, but I rename it. I press F2 to rename it to become terrain. Sorry. Terrain 04. For example, terrain 04. Then the rest from the group, I hold the shift to the bottom. All of this I want to attach to the terrain 04. Terrain 04 itself is a dummy. I click pick parents and I click terrain 04. Now this is a prop already. Before we send it to Unreal Engine, we need to go through one more process. You open your character creator tree, start a new avatar. We need this avatar. We need one of the function in CC3 character creator tree to merge all the, the different meshes to become just one mesh. So here you need to do once one more step here. All right, so we are going to send this default avatar to iClone 7. I click here, send to iClone, and wait in the iClones until the avatar is loaded. Now, this avatar is already here. Next, under the scenes, we select the terrain. And then here, you should be able to see attach to. It's under here, attach to. You pick the parent, you pick the parent and attach to the head of the CC3 avatar. After that, in your character tree, creator tree here, you click here to apply the motions of T pose first. Then you back to the icon here. You choose your CC3 base plus. And actually now, this terrain already attached as an accessory. What you need to do is just to drag here up. It's under here. Click Edit in, in Character Creator. Just click here and wait in the Character Creator here. Would you like to save? You choose No and replace All. That is how we are going to make some modification at there. 
All right, now once it's already in the in the character creator tree, you can see this terrain attached as an as an accessory. You click the scenes. You just need to click the terrain 04 and click edit. Sorry, click modify merge accessory. And wait for a while now. It will show not responding, but actually the software is working to merge all different meshes to become one mesh. So just need to wait for a while now. Next, in your in your icon here, you can just go to the content custom. It's under the project custom. Custom project here, you just save a project as the backup. Now, this one you start a new icon project file from your character creator tree here. Again, you click send to icon. And in your icon here, just wait for a while. It is receiving the CC3 avatar included the terrain as the accessory. Now you can see all come back to the icon already. Go to the scenes and under the CC3 base plus the terrain 04 is here. What you need to do is drag down. Attach to the CC base head to tier, you just need to click detach. Now it will back to the prop. And then you double click, uh, sorry, you click the CC3 avatar and press delete. Now this terrain already become a single prop. And you already el eliminate all the morph and setting. Now it is ready for you to send to Unreal Engine. Make sure you, you already have the icon Unreal Life link. Untick everything and you only choose a prop. The terrain 04, you tick it. That's all. Then you click the setting here. You must untick place assets in scenes. Now close it. Next. Make sure you already open your, 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 your Unreal Engine. And then in your Unreal Engine, you already install the Icon Unreal Live Link. Both open together in your Icon 7 here. You click transfer file and wait for a while. It will transfer to your Unreal Engine. It automatically will appear here after finish. So now you just need to wait until it appear here. Now it is transferring. Now you can see my already finished transfer. It is under the content folder, Revolution Content. The terrain 04, 0. You can see that you have a skeleton mesh here. So, next step, double click the skeleton mesh of the terrain 04. It is pink color, it is magenta color. Double click it. And because of this, is this is a skeleton mesh. We want to make a static mesh. This is the next step. The static mesh here. It will automatically put into the meshes folder. The name, I will put it as the terrain 04. Click OK. And click Close. Next, you click the contents. You should be able to see a meshes folder here. The terrain 04 is here. So I want to put the terrain 04 at here. But before that, double click the terrain 04 to set the collisions. This is your terrain 04. It is quite realistic. It is awesome. See, it is there already. What you need to do is just scroll down here. This is the details. You scroll down. Under the collision setting, the collision complexity, we change it and choose as use complex collision as simple. Use complex collision as symbol. Next, you click save and close. This is the terrain 04. You can use it now. You can apply anytime. Just drag into your, your map here. And then you can just pull it up like this. So now this terrain is ready for you to use in your Unreal Engine. You can just press R to make it bigger if you want. Right now, I try to play this game. I play, try to test play, sorry. Wait. Now, I have certain arrows here. Just because of, of my player respawn is here. So, this is the player start. I 
press W to move it. Move it out. This is this is where the default player is going to spawn. So now, here, I try to play. You can see my default player is here, and this terrain already has certain collisions that you can just, just put it in your game project. And it is really amazing. It is here already. It is ready for you. It's game ready. And that's, that's all for today about how to use the terrain generator in your iClone 7.9 plugins, and then you create any terrain, just generate any terrain in one minute and send it to your Unreal Engine game project. And now it is already in your Unreal Engine. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your, to your 3D animations, 3D modeling and game developing. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you will receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy animation and game developing. See you.